Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this trade management mini session. Today we are going to talk about Thinkorswim. We are going to talk about the scan tab and specifically I've been asked many times how to create watch lists that reflect the sectors of the S&P 500. So that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a very quick video. Um, but it's something that I wanted to be able to share with you in a way that it was easily accessible that you could go and spend, you know, five to 10 minutes and have a great solution. If you are not following me on X, I'm inviting you to do so. My handle, Barb Armstrong CS. I'm posting videos like this and lots of other content that I think you'll find helpful on a day to day basis. So without further ado, we're going to look at using scans to create sector watch lists. What are we <clears throat> platform are we using? We are going to use the paper money software application on the Thinkorswim desktop platform. It is a brilliant place to learn and to hone your trading skills in your paper money account prior uh, to considering doing things in your live account. Um, there are some nuances and differences between the platform. None of those will impact what we're doing here today. So I'm not going to go into detail on those, but just know that all investing involves risk, including the risk of loss. Okay, so I'm bringing up the Thinkorswim desktop platform, and we're gonna focus on two areas here. One is creating a watch list. And you may be saying like, hey Barb, I don't even know what the watch, watch what the watch list sectors are. Like I, if I'm creating a bunch of watch lists, I don't even know what the sectors are. And so that might be a place to start. In which case, if you open a watch list on your gadget, and then you come down to public and S&P 500 sector indices, it will bring up the sector indices. Now, I will tell you that it's not going to give you a description. It's going to give you this S&P 500 2550. I don't even know what those are. And I'm a coach. So I came over here to the customize tab and I've done another mini session already months ago on how to customize this. So I'm not going to go through all the detail on that today, but just to serve our purposes, to add a description, we're going to highlight it and click add. Now you can see I already have this in here, but you would hit okay and then you would have your description. So here I can see the sectors and there are 11 of them. All right, so now I'm going to come over to the scan tab and really what I want to look at, I'm going to do a very simple scan and I'm going to come to scan in and come down to public and S&P 500 because I want to look at all the stocks in the S&P 500 that intersect with a particular industry. And if we just go from the top of our list, that would be consumer discretionary. I'm going to say pick, you know, all of these industry groups and consumer discretionary. I have picked 200 to say show the top 200. I know that there isn't any sector that has 200 stocks, but by saying show me 200 of them, it will show me however many there are. So it's saying in the consumer discretionary sector, there are 50 stocks that are also part of the S&P 500. Now to create a watch list, I'm just going to come down and save this as a watch list. And I'm going to call that sector consumer discretionary. Now, and now I'm going to save that. Now the next question is how do we find it once we've saved it? Well, we're gonna come over here to our watch list and I'm gonna click on this and then come down to personal. And here I can see my sector, consumer discretionary sector. I'm gonna bring that up. I can sort it by symbol, or I can sort it by, you know, this is a column that's, that says, you know, three month return, so. But if we sorted it alphabetically, and then if you wanted to look at the charts, I can link my chart and I've got a one here, so I turn my paper clip into a one. 
I, I can click from chart to chart and look at the stocks in, these sec in this sector pretty quickly and easily. And I can sort it by symbol. I can sort it by, you know, return over the last three months, in which case Tesla's the head of the pack. I could sort it by which one has changed the most in value today, either positively or negatively. NVR, you know, down 42. Um, or which one has been the most bullish? Uh, that would be Domino's Pizza today. So I've got all of this, but what occurred to me was that the S&P 500 on a quarterly basis might add some companies and it might take some companies off the list. So on December 23rd, as luck would have it, um, Workday is being added to the S&P 500. It's part of the tech sector and Cuervo is being removed. So if I do a scan and I say, okay, I still want the S&P, the only thing I'm gonna change is my industry group. If I come down to the tech sector and say select all the tech stocks and run the scan, if these are sorted alphabetically, if I scroll down, we'll see that Cuervo is part of the list today and that a workday, W-D-A-Y, is not. But come January 1st, Cuervo will be off the list and workday will be on it. So maybe instead of saving this as a watch list, maybe I could just save the scan. Well, how do I do that? Well, you're going to come up here and say, I want to save this as a scan, and we're going to call this sectors or sector <clears throat> technology or you can make it information technology you can it's it's your list you can make it whatever you want and save it now when i come to the watch list and i come to my personal watch list because this is one i personally created saying okay here's your tech sector here's utilities i've done two of them so here's the tax sector. We can sort it alphabetically. We can still link it the same way and it will go out and quickly run the scan and then populate it for us. And so you can see how quickly it would be to go through our list and create 11 scans. So I'm just gonna come back to the scan tab, S&P 500, technology, We're gonna come down to industry group and say, well, we don't have consumer staples yet. Let's select those. We can run the scan just to see how many are currently in it. We've got 38, or we can just say, hey, we're just creating these scans. I'm gonna save it. It's sector consumer staples. And in about 15 minutes, you can have your 11 watch lists created that are not static. They're, they will update and go out and do a search for all the stocks in the S&P that are in the consumer staples sector every time you bring this search up. So we're coming to personal. And so now we can see here's our sector consumer staple. And, and this, you know, the way this is organized I wanted all my sectors together, so I'm gonna call each one of them sector, and then it will organize alphabetically. So if it's sector space dash space, then they'll just all list alphabetically. And, and then, uh, you know, these static watch lists that you created, you could say, well, I'm not gonna need those anymore. So I could come to delete and say, yeah, we can throw that one out. Are you sure? Oops, I hit share by mistake. So I'm going to come here to delete. I want to delete that utility sector because I'm going to replace it with a scan. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, you know, we continue to learn and grow in our expertise as traders and in our expertise in using the platform. I hope that you'll have found this to be um, an interesting tool to add 
to your investing and, and trading tool bag. The stocks that we looked at and discussed today in the sectors were just for informational purposes only. Hope you found this mini session helpful. We'll see you in a webcast coming up soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.